Hey, what's happening guys? I hope your January is going well. I ordered some stuff in December from Alice 110, a 1983, and it all came in one package, so I can't really do a mailbag unboxing type video. So we'll take a look at things one at a time. We'll get all this out of here. These are for another video. And we'll start with these little ICs here. We have five of them. A little glob top IC on a board. You can see it's just a plain fiberglass board. Glob top. Four pads on this side, two pads on this side. And this is a timing chip. It says uh, two seconds to 1,000 hours. And the only information on the board itself says C005. Then on this package here, we get A16-31-B-10. But let me tell you what, good luck finding anything with that. Let's go to the computer and take a look at this on uh, eBay and see if we can dig up some more information and figure out how it works. All right, so here we have the chips. And this is the uh, listing from eBay. Five-piece multifunction delay trigger chip timing module timer IC timing and they are uh, 99 cents for five of them so I thought hey that's a pretty good deal grab some of these and have a play with them right let's take a look at this picture which is basically the only diagram and information they really give you so there's not much you can see we have uh, VCC going to the top pin and then we have our output coming through a current limiting resistor from VCC through a current limiting resistor through our LED which is the output in this case going to the output uh, pad now that would make that pad a uh, current sink that's fine so then we have trigger which appears to go between VCC and ground with a switch and then over on the left side, over here, you see we have a uh, RT resistor for timing. And then up here in the middle, in yellow, you see we have P1 and P2 with really not much explanation. But if you take a look, you can see P1 appears to be connected to uh, VCC. And we can check that out. And then also at the very top, connected to VCC is a decoupling cap mark 0.01 now if we roll down here into the description so it tells us trigger terminal falling trigger effective immediately so it's looking for a uh, a falling trigger to activate it set timer to recover after the output terminal is high weight for the next falling trigger so it means it's resettable I'm guessing ba -ba 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 features CMOS direct push can output low LED and then the only information about timing is right here uh, 8 times n where n equals 0 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 the timing selection okay and this says time can be adjusted from two seconds to 1,000 hours Whew. that is not a lot of information to go on so what I did is I went back to the title and I searched it through all of eBay until I came across this particular listing which has some better information. Again, there is that same picture that all the other listings have, okay? But now we have a resistance chart and it tells us our timing. So if we put a 10K resistor in there and we're at 3 volts, it's telling us the chip is going to run at 1.35 megahertz and it will stay on for 5.8 seconds. At 4.5 volts, it will stay on for 4.8 seconds. So let's say we put a 100K resistor in there. Uh, it's going to give us a 30 second delay. So that's that's not too bad and then we have a better diagram here 
which gives us a little bit more information. We have plus output uh, C, which is the trigger, and minus. And then we actually have a bit of a circuit diagram kind of showing us what's going on. And then we have this one over here as well, which gives us even more. Come on. A little bit more information. So here's our VCC. We have an LED going from VCC into our output and then we have our trigger connected through a switch to our ground which goes to ground and we have our timing resistor over here. I think with that much information we should be able to make this work. So let's give it a try. All right, I have taken one of these guys and soldered some wires to it so that we can uh, use it in a breadboard. I have uh, the components we need, I believe. So let's see if we can't hook this guy up. So the red is our VCC. I'm going to use 3.3 .3 volts. Black is ground. The white, the white is our output. Let me move this over a little bit so we have more room to work. Everything seems to be moving too far that way. All right. So there's our VCC and ground. Like I said, the white is our output. So we'll put that. Oh, better do it like this. Here is a 330 ohm current limiting resistor. Here is a green LED. And then we'll put the white, which is our output, or in this case, our input, right here. Then we have our trigger. I have to move that over so it fits. Like that. And then we need to take the other side of our trigger to ground. Like that. And then we have our timing resistor, which in this case is 10K. We'll put it over here like this. I have to move it. <laughs> yep, I have to move it over here so that everything is plugged into the correct holes. Now we need to hook up some power. That shouldn't be too hard. So we'll put in some jumpers here for our power. And we will hook up the power supply. If I can get a hold of the wires. Always hooking up ground first. All right. And then I'll turn the power supply on. And I want to measure some voltages. It's not drawing any current at this point. So we'll bring in the meter. All right, so at VCC, 
We're measuring 3.3 volts at output. 3.3. If I touch the trigger, that should bring that to ground. I don't want to do that. Here, we should be reading nothing. All right. Here goes nothing. Lights on. Two, three. That gave us about a three second delay, I think. Let me uh, turn the overhead lights off here. Uh, one second, please. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. All right, let's try it again. Hit the button. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. So, three seconds. Okay, I'm looking at the chart, and I will put it up here. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. It says at three volts, 10K resistance, we should get 5.8 seconds. And like I said, my uh, power supply, hang on here. I'll give you a look at the power supply is set for 3.3 .3. so let's uh, take that back to 3 volts and then we'll turn it back on so 5.8 seconds all right you ready why is that lit All right, here we go. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one. Okay. <laughs> so at three volts, we are getting four seconds. We're almost two seconds different from their chart. I don't know if that's Chinese math or tolerances here, but whatever. Five of these little guys for a dollar. That can come in handy if you need to do something. Looks like I only got four. Looks like this one's empty. <laughs> that could come in handy when you need a quick delay circuit and you don't have a 555 timer or a microcontroller around. Anyway, I'll put a link to it down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video on how to set up the mysterious... What's it called again? Multifunction Delay Trigger Timing IC Chip Timing Module. Two seconds to 1,000 hours. All right, guys. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. I couldn't be here without you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.